Another day, another rant. Hello everyone, Matt from Those Damn Guys. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that has bugged me for quite a long time, including my fiancé, and that is couch co-op, and how strongly that I feel that couch co-op gaming is uh, pretty much dead, is the best way to put it. Um, it's not really around anymore, you don't see it in many games anymore, and as much as you guys are going to want to chalk this, this rant up to nostalgia value, um, I, I want to stress that I think it's very important to have couch co-op. Um, it, it's important to to be playing with another friend, to have somebody next to you. Hell, in most cases, your wife, your fiance, your your daughter, your son, family members, uh, at any point in time, it, it's very important to be able to sit down and play games with them, other than games that are, are absolutely focused and meant on that experience. And what I mean by that is is one of the, the main people that is still actively kind of do it are the Halo games. Halo games, you can actually still sit down with somebody next to you and, and play through the entire campaign. Hell, even online, you can play online uh, and, and play with other people next to you. Um, but we it, it's it's rare that we find that kind of stuff anymore. Um, way back in the day, for those of you who remember, in the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis era, the original Nintendo, Atari, all of them, they had multiple controller ports on the console because they pretty much told you that, hey, we want you to play with other people. A lot of games back then were meant to be played with other people, I have many in front of me right now um, that that are, are are true to my heart. Um, Donkey Kong Country, the entire series, not even just the original Donkey Kong Country, um, but all of them. Super Mario All Stars, um, all of the Mario games are, are cooperative and and they're great. Um, another great one is, is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I love Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I have some of the best memories. And Zombies Ate My Neighbors on another platform. I'm going to chalk it up there twice because that is such a great co-op game. Um, and my fiance's personal favorite, uh, Toe Jam and Earl, is another really co-op game. Uh, and hell, even Sega had as Sonic. Sonic had co-op uh, in, in most uh, all parts. You could play as Tails if you wanted to. But you look at games nowadays that are, that are a blast and a lot of fun to play, um, but it's impossible to play with somebody else. And and I, I love that you know they make these really great next gen cinematic experiences, um, and, and you know they they completely blow your mind. And it's practically playing a movie in most cases, but that other person is pretty much left there to watch you. Now, in an RPG, I understand, okay? I understand that, you know, on a turn-based RPG, there is no two-player functionality. Hell, Eternal Sonata did it. Uh, some people do do it, but um, I understand that if you design a game around or a game around that, why there isn't multiple people being able to play locally. But Dead Rising 3, probably one of its best features is, is co-op. Online only. You have to play with somebody online only. Battlefield 4, even the main cooperative, or the main story, sorry, is not cooperative. That is a pain in my ass. Uh, my fiance and I, we, we wanted to play this game together. We get it. We obviously can't. Um, which is very unfortunate. On the Sony side, they're just as guilty. I mean, you know, the Killzone series. The Killzone series is a great series. I don't care if you're not a Sony fan or if you're only a Microsoft fan, whatever you want to call it, but Killzone is a great, fun series. And I want to play some of the crazy, awesome stories with somebody else. Um, nowadays, we're pretty much chalked up to the Lego games being cooperative and Mario games. Well, in most cases, Nintendo games in general, cooperative. Um, and that's unfortunate. And while you can do online co-op, in most cases, um, that kind of sucks. I think a huge social aspect is having somebody sit down and play next to you. You know, those laughs, getting things. There's there's no voice distortion uh, when sharing a joke, you know. And, and it's, it's kind of, that that's nuts to try to do online. Um, and, you know, network connectivity can happen all day long but if somebody uh is sitting next to me you know who cares we we should be able to play a game together and so i think it's kind of sad and and so this is more or less of a rant uh, uh maybe it's nostalgia sure i'll call it nostalgia but it's very sad that we can't sit down with those ones that we love and the, the other people that we care about um and and enjoy a game 
Um, it's, it's very rare in most cases today. I shouldn't have to look at my library and worry about what we're going to play next uh, and what we, we even have the ability to play. Um, and, and for people nowadays who are just getting into gaming, it's got to be that much harder. Um, I mean, I, I understand that, you know, online gaming is kind of filling that void now, but it, it, it's very sad. It, it, it's sad. Um, I, I've got a lot of memories, uh, you know, being able to chill out with, with my cousins, my friends. We come over, everybody crowds around the TV and, and plays those games together. Um, and now you don't have to do that anymore, and that's kind of unfortunate. Online friends are one thing, and I, and I can't expect my friend in Colorado to fly all the way out here whenever we want to play a game on the couch, but um, it's just kind of sad. It, 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 and it made me realize that. This is a, a New Year's edition of Another Day, Another Rant, and uh, I, I pretty much wanted to let you know that if you want to play cooperative games anymore, you either need to get a PC and play only MMOs, um, or you get a Nintendo console. The Nintendo console is definitely the last remaining couch co-op experience out there to date. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'll let you think about that, especially some of your older gamers uh, like myself who, who have sat around and, and played games... Uh, since yesteryear. Um, but I, I want to let you know that if you ever have an opportunity, especially if you're an indie developer out there and you're watching this, please keep in mind that some of us have other people in the house who like video games as well, and we want to share that joy that you guys work so hard to make. So anytime that you guys can create a local cooperative experience or couch co-op experience, it is highly appreciated uh, by all means. So those of you who have made it, I want to thank you, and those of you who haven't, I want to strongly urge you to go in that direction. For everybody else, uh, again, I'm Matt with Those Damn Guys. Please be sure to check out our channel, uh, Those Damn Guys TV, and let us know what else you want to see, and if there's a subject that's been bothering you, and I'll be more than happy to comment on it. Other than that, have a great day.